y'all welcome back to yet again another episode of ji productions it's your boy ji back at it again with another banger video for you guys man as y'all can tell by the title and the thumbnail of today's video and you get a little sneak peek right here we did go ahead and get the carbon fiber front splitter installed from extreme online store sourced through my sponsor wild hammer motorsports shout out to the people over at wild hammer nicole matt thank you guys so much we literally were waiting for this splitter to come back in stock for over a year nicole had been reaching out to their liaison at extreme online store numerous amounts of time literally at least two times a month she was sending out an email to see what the restock wait period was going to be and nevertheless you know throughout all that hard work I present to you guys Vader's new front end. Oh my God. This thing looks insane, you guys. I can't, I can't even, I can't even lie to y'all. This thing looks crazy with the new splitter, bro. Look at, oh my God, this profile right here. Now the car is dirty, unfortunately, you all. I haven't gotten a chance to wash the car. I haven't even gotten a chance to put the side skirts back on the car, but I had to show you guys what it looks like. Now, I'm gonna keep it a buck. Y'all already know that I like to do the unboxings, the installations, and the review videos for you guys so I can tell you guys everything up front so you know what to expect. Now, unfortunately, when I was installing this splitter, I did not plan on doing it the day that we did it, which was yesterday. So I didn't have any of my vlogging equipment with me, no cameras, no tripods, nothing. We literally were just knocking this joint out on my lunch break and we ended up making way more progress than we had made in the initial days. So we ended up finishing it. With that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of walk you guys through how the install went, tell you a couple things that you should be on the lookout for if you have a 1LE. Now, majority of these things are 1LE specific, okay? If you have a regular 2SS or a 1SS and you don't have a front splitter on your car already, it's literally just going to bolt up. Simple as that. Now, if you do get the carbon fiber or forced carbon fiber variants of the splitter, you are going to have to double size sticky tape or use some JB Well to get your winglets put on the splitter because there are no holes there's no pre-drilled holes there's no screws or anything like that like on the plastic variant so that being said what we did on my car personally was we heated up some double sized sticky tape we also heated up the splitter itself and we just stuck them onto the car now this is definitely a temporary fix um because you know i do live in texas and with the texas heat that double size sticky tape is going to become a little bit less resistant. Um, and it might, you know, it might just get caught in the wind and get taken right off. So what I am going to do is I am going to do some of that JB weld very, very soon just to be 100 percent sure that it's not going to come off at all. Um, but one of the things that I do want to mention to you all, right, if you have a one LE, there is gonna be about 10 eight millimeter bolts that go through the entire front splitter, right? Then there's about five rivets that go through this front splitter as well. And then there is a rivet right here and on the other side. Once you get those two rivets out, the only way that you're gonna be able to get those two rivets out is by going through the fender liner. You can go ahead and get those rivets out. Then once you get those drilled out, you're gonna have to apply mad pressure, kind of pull down and towards yourself because right in this area right here, there's a bracket that I will put up on the screen. It basically, the front splitter slides into that bracket and that bracket holds the front splitter in place. So with that being said, you're gonna have to pry down and towards yourself to get it off. Then once you get it off, be prepared. <laughs> There is a whole bunch of double-sized sticky tape that they use when they install the 1LE front splitter. So you're gonna have to clean that up. Unfortunately for me, on my car, 
my paint got messed up when doing that. It is what it is. The bumper needed to be resprayed anyway. So, oh well. You know what I'm saying? It is a little bit of an eyesore for me personally. I'm not going to show it to you guys because at the end of the day, if I sit here and show it to you guys, then it'll become an eyesore for y'all too. So that being said, I'm just going to leave it as is. And we're just going to talk about how good the car looks <laughs> at the end of the day. Sorry, y'all. I'm playing with the brightness because it is really, really bright out here. The sun is not playing no games. And I want you guys to be able to see. But then I don't want it to be too dark to where you can't see. One of my favorite angles with this front splitter, y'all, is right here. Let me let me see if I can't zoom in. Sheesh, y'all see how the front splitter lines up with the dive plane, but then you still get that 285 30 20 poke. Sheesh. Oh my god, that poke is crazy, bro. It looks so good. It looks so good. I'm going to be honest with y'all, man. When we first put this splitter on the car, I really thought that my tires were going to rub against the winglets when you turn. But it clears 100%, just to let you guys know. Um, but yeah, man, overall, all in all, the install of this front splitter, I will say it's not hard if you don't already have a front splitter on your car. If you do have a 1LE like me, it does become a little tedious, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, there's not that many videos out on YouTube. Honestly, I don't think there's any other than my guy Hot 1LE, well, Hot ZL1 now. Um, he's the only one other than myself, I believe, that has a video on YouTube telling you how to remove the 1LE front splitter. Um, so that being said, y'all, there's not that much information on how to remove the front splitter. So it's it's really gonna be trial and error, bro. It took three days to get that front splitter off because I just kept finding more and more things that were keeping the front splitter on the car. And I was trying to get this video done, get the front splitter installed during my lunch break. So every time that we were doing it, we would just run out of time. Um, but thankfully yesterday we were able to go ahead and get it knocked out, bro, and I can't lie. I just love how it looks, bro. Now the front end, to me, is way more complete. You know what I'm saying? You got the carbon hood, and then you come down and you got the carbon front splitter. At first, it was just carbon hood, matte black 1LE front splitter. It, it wasn't enough carbon. Now, sheesh, imagine if I could get the grill inserts in carbon. Oh my God, that would go crazy. Yo, I might, I might gotta, I might gotta talk to some people, see if we can't make that happen, cause that would go crazy. Just how for the six gen ZL ones, they make the carbon fiber replacements for the inserts, bro. I can't hold y'all for the grill inserts. I can't hold y'all, bro. Carbon fiber on the grill inserts would go wild, bro. I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of the front splitter, bro. I personally think that it looks amazing. Um. Drove the car home, drove it back over here today for work, got the car up to about 110 in Mexico. Winglets are still on, no issues there. Like I said, they're pretty, they're pretty firm, bro. They're 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 pretty firm. You know what I'm saying? They're not, I'm not gonna say they're not going anywhere, but as of right now, <laughs> they're not they're not going nowhere, bro. They're they're on there pretty solid. So huge shout out to the homies junior and senior that helped me out installing this joint bro appreciate y'all you feel me junior you know what i'm saying even though you did a little you did a little something, something to that paint it's all good bro i still appreciate y'all man for real you know what i'm saying so y'all let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think i want to get some rolling shots of the front end now it's a lot i need to do i need to put these side skirts back on i i think i've come to the conclusion that i'm just gonna reinstall the side skirts call it a day bro um, that way that I can have the full carbon on and then I'm just going to go ahead and order some brand new carbon fiber side skirts and I might end up painting the ones that I have now gloss black solely because the dude who fixed this wheel, which all of a sudden was leaking yesterday, um, jacked up the car wrong, bro, cracked the side skirt, 
And then not only did he do that, he also messed up my fender. The bracket for the fender is damaged, so my fender kind of sits out a little bit now. Um, so that being said, even if I was to restore the clear coat on the side skirts, I'm still going to have that crack. And I really don't want it. So that being said, I'm probably going to go ahead and buy some new side skirts for the car. I'm just torn if I should stay with the ZL1 style joints that I had or if I should switch it up. I'm not 100% sure yet. So y'all leave that in the comment section down below too. I'll put the two options on the screen. Let me know what you guys think, which one I should go with. But other than that, bro, all in all, to wrap up today's video, bro, we finally got the carbon front splitter on the car. Now we need to put the fenders and the diffuser on the car and sheesh boy this joint gonna be different i can't lie but with all that being said y'all your boys out here sweating buckets give this video a big thumbs up if you like the front splitter if you don't like the front splitter give this video a big thumbs up for the fact that i'm out here grinding for y'all on my lunch break getting this content for y'all man subscribe to the channel if you haven't already man turn on post notifications drop a comment in the comment section down below and just for those of you who are still tuning into the vlogs still tapping in with your boy still rocking with your boy man i know the videos have been a little wonky a little inconsistent i just got a lot on my plate right now man i hope you guys can bear with me because i'm not stopping i'm not giving up on the channel i'm not giving up on the social media platforms i'm not Everything's just kind of been put on the back burner right now because I've got a lot of things that I got to focus on. And, <laughs> you know, it's just a lot on my plate right now. I'm not complaining. I'm blessed to be able to handle these things. But at the end of the day, sometimes you got to shift focus a little bit to get what you want in the long term. You know what I'm saying? So I hope that didn't go over you guys' head. I hope you guys understand that. I hope you guys still rock with your boy. Uh, but yeah, man, I'm gonna just go ahead and roll that outro. I'll close this joint right here, man. So I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. You did. Sheesh. Oh my god, that thing looks so good with that carbon, bruh. And then you get the white, man. Come on, man. With the white side, Marky. Sheesh. Yeah, bro, that joint goes crazy.